Celebrity Wine Review, and tonight is a very big night. Happy New Year's Eve from Celebrity Wine Review and Bel Air Magazine. We are here at Bel Air's Black Tie Affair in Bel Air, and my first guest tonight is the beautiful Sarah Mitchell, actress, dancer, and choreographer. Thanks so much for joining us, Sarah. Thank you for having me. You look gorgeous. You do too. And so, we're going to talk about the latest film that you, you were just in. Great film, Burlesque with Christina Aguilera. And you danced your booty off in that film. I did. I danced my booty off for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> So tell us about the process. Um, I understand that you were the only cast member that has danced with Christina prior and outside of the film. So was female it just, yeah, was female, female cast member. Okay, okay, yeah. clarify okay. that. Was it, was it just an automatic shoe-in because you were Christina's favorite that you got the part, or how did that work? Well, before the job started, I wasn't her favorite. <laughs> well, not I wasn't not her favorite okay. either, but um, I did have to audition just like everyone else, okay. probably a good five times. Wow. So it was a process. Five it was like five callbacks. Over and over again. Callbacks. Just when you thought you were done, you had another one. Oh, my gosh. And, um, you really earned it. Oh, I earned it. And then even after I got it, I still earned it. So. You know, it was, it was quite the process, but in the end, I think it was it was definitely worth it. It was, an, it was an amazing experience, and I think the film turned out amazing, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. No wonder it was so fantastic. Um, so how long was the process of making the film? I, I would assume a while, because your, I mean, yeah. your choreography was so flawless. I, d I remember sitting there thinking, watching Christina go off and all the dance moves that all you guys did, and it was just so breathtaking. Yeah. Thinking, this took a lot of work. I mean, and you didn't even see all of it. So definitely, definitely like six to seven months, and there was probably two months of pre-production. So it was a long process, and you what know. And we talking about as far as rehearsals are concerned? Every day, five days a week, wow. eight hours a day. Wow. It was, a, I mean, it was hard work. Very strenuous. Yeah, and every day I was like, okay, this is going to be worth it, you know? <laughs> but it was hard. So when you finally, after all of that build up, all of that work, um, killing yourself for months, when you finally saw the film, when you went to the premiere, what was that moment like? I mean, I still had to wait a, a whole nother, like, almost what? year, I think. Before I was like, release. oh, could this finally That's happen? we don't think about the, view, the viewing audiences. It would, yeah. even more time, even years and years left. I know. It, I mean, right? it was exciting to just see posters. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, once it finally arrived, I mean, now it's over. <laughs> but it was... Was it surreal to see yeah, yourself up there? And it was my first big, big dancing movie. I've mm -hmm. done a couple other little movies that I danced in, but like this was a dance movie. And um, to even be on the same stage as Cher, we did a number with Cher. Like, she's an amazing person, amazing performer, extremely talented, just like a wonderful person to be around. You know, so that was, I mean, the whole process was just, I'll, I'll never forget it. Okay. You know? Oh, that's so good to hear. Yeah. Because sometimes you hear the opposite stories, you know. It was tough. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> on set, but <laughs> overall something you came away with. Oh, and definitely. If they decide to do a burlesque too, you're in, huh? You're, I'm you'll in do it. it again. I'm ready. <laughs> well, it's not like you're pulling your heels for anything because I hear that you have moved right on to something very exciting. Um, I understand that you are in a new show that's a little bit hush hush <laughs> that, you know, Celebrity Wine Review, we always have the scoop for you. Um, and it's with Ryan Seacrest Productions, and it's for E. And someone told me it is a cross between the hills for dancers. Correct. So, what can you tell us, Sarah? Come on, buddy up to us and give us a little scoop about what well, you, this is about. You basically said it all. <laughs> it's um, definitely. <laughs> Definitely uh, Ryan Seacrest Productions for E. We have a very great time slot and it starts in April. So have you, have you had a shot at Still shooting. Oh, currently. I will be there on Monday well, so shooting. So that's why it's so hush hush. Yeah. Really you talk about it at all when you're in the middle of it. We're still doing it, yeah. And, um, you know, Lorian Gibson, who choreographed for Lady Gaga wow. and uh, Diddy, she's part of it as well. Wow. So it should be a really good show and it's going to, like, let you in on a dancer's life. So a dancer in LA. Why is it being likened to the hills? Exactly. Because of all the curly drama? There's a little drama, I'm yeah. not going to lie. Oh. And I have a lot to do with it. Oh, no. <laughs> None of the catty drama though. You know, just like the personal drama, I guess, that personal. comes along. Are you really competitive? With the no. Other girls? I mean, the like show is... Your nature? I mean, if I need to be competitive, I will be. Okay. But this isn't about a competition. It's basically about oh, our no. lifestyle. Oh. 
which is good because I don't think I would have signed up if it was a competition show, you know. Okay. It's basically like I'm a dancer, I'm in LA, and this is what we go through on a daily basis. Great. I bet you guys are dying to see it as well. So yeah. April, watch for it on E. Yeah, April. And we're not even telling you the name, you just gotta keep your eye out for this lady, Sarah Mitchell. Well, Sarah, yeah. we are celebrating wine review. We'd love to do wine tastings with our celebs. So, how do you feel about wine? Wine is my best friend. I love a good glass <laughs> of red tonight. wine. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually, yeah, I'm so ready. Tonight, we are premiering Sensorium Wines, our fabulous wine sponsor for our event tonight. Sensorium is out of Napa Valley. Some of the wine comes from some of the best vineyards in Napa Valley, the Santa Cruz Mountains, and the Central Coast. Sensorium was founded back in 2002 by Jeff Ritchie and his partners, and they specialize in two very different Cabernets and a wonderful Viognier. Tonight we are featuring the two very different Cabernets, and Jeff tells me that the two cabs are kind of the yin and yang of each other. Okay. Um, so tonight, I want you to try the Napa Valley Cab. This is a 2006 Napa Valley Cab, and he says it's like the elegant one. Okay. And you strike me as a more elegant lady. Thank you. <laughs> as so, you. So we're going to try the elegant cab. So thank you for having me, and here's to 2011. Absolutely. Yeah. Ringing in the new year the right way with yes. Sensorium, Sensorium Wines and Sarah Mitchell on Celebrity Wine Review TV. Cheers. <laughs>